Hello folks, my name is Marble Master and welcome to this video. Today I want to explain how you can implement my dynamic water system into your existing project. So I'm going to start by opening up the YouTube video and inside the description there's a download link. I'm going to click on it and this will open up my Google Drive. You will find uh, the project in Unreal Engine 4 free stuff and in here there's a folder reactive dynamic water and I'm going to choose a version 2 at this point. I'm going to download it. So once the download has finished, I click on the zip file and I drag the folder to my desktop. Then I'm going to create a new Unreal Engine 4 project. When you are on your PC, you will open your own project. I'm going, I'm going to create a new project and therefore I start Unreal Engine 4. And here I select new project, select uh, the third person uh, example, and I'm going to choose uh, my desktop location and my project for name. So I'm going to create that, create that project and this will create it to my desktop and uh, will immediately open it up. You can see there's a blank project. And now I want the water in my project. Therefore, I'm going to minimize it and I'm opening up my reactive water folder and the reactive water project. So once it has opened up, you see on the bottom left, there's a Marvel Master Infinite Reactive Water folder. I right click on it and select Migrate. Just hit OK. And for the equation, I choose my newly created project that is located on my desktop my project and just one click on content and hit select folder. An error message will only uh, appear if your new project uh, uses the um, basic epic mannequin. So in this case I select yes all. This will override the basic mannequin, mannequin from the epic project. So now I can close the reactive water showcase and close the folder too and uh, maximize my newly created third person example map. And now when I click on the bottom left button, you can see there's been a folder created, Marvel Mass Infinite Reactive Water. Inside of this folder, you find the Water Master Blueprint and you can drag and drop it into the level. And as you can see, when you hit play, there's an error message. This is because of the Watermaster Blueprint. So open up the Watermaster Blueprint and check for the errors. When I scroll down here, we'll find the first error. This error is a result of a missing box collision. It asks for an overlap water check box collision in the third person character blueprint. So let's open up the third person character blueprint and just add a new component a box collision and let's call it the same as here water now overlap water check name overlap overlap water check and as you can see a collision box has been created this box is uh, basically um, the collision for the water surface. Once the box hits the water surface, the waves will be created. But as you can see, uh, the size isn't quite right. So I am going to adjust uh, the size by, let's say, 3.5. Okay, this looks right to me now. Hit compile and now I can close the third person character blueprint and hit uh, again compile in the water master blueprint. Okay, as you can see, this error is gone now, but uh, there are still other errors. Let's check them. I double click on these. Okay, as you can see, um, the blueprint is asking for more colliders. These colliders are basically for feet, for the feet and calf of my character. But for the fastest implementation, I will just leave the capsule component at the moment and deactivate them. I deactivate them by right click on the get word location return value and break the link from the output. 
I do this for the water collider calf and feed. But I leave the capsule component. Now I can hit compile. And as you can see, all errors are gone. And now when you are looking onto the level, the water master blueprint is showing. Now we can adjust uh, the location, the Z location. And when I hit play, you will see nothing is happening. This is because the water master blueprint uh, standard um, setting is that it will uh, locate the feet and calf. But because I deactivated the feet and calf, uh, nothing is showing. So I can click on the water master blueprint here and scroll down to collision. And here you see the enable full body collider is deactivated. And once I activate it, hit play again, the water simulation is happening. So one thing you see on uh, the middle here, this is the center of the world. Um, this is just a bug I am not able to fix at the moment. So always make sure that uh, the water is not located at the center of the world. Once uh, the water is at another location, uh, this spike in the middle of the world is not happening. So that's it for the explanation uh, for the full body integration. And now I will explain on an example how to um, make the foot collision work. For this, I'm going to open up my word, uh, water master blueprint again and uh, reattach the get word location from the water collider foot R with the foot R location. Hit compile, and as you can see, uh, the error is appearing again. What's the reason? The reason is it is looking in the third person character for a water collider foot R. In this case, it's a capsule collision. So let's open up the third person character blueprint again and add a component, in this case, capsule collision. And we call it the same as it's written here water collider underscore foot underscore R. Name water collider underscore foot underscore R for right foot. Now on the viewport, you can see a capsule collision has been created, but I want to attach this capsule collision to the right foot. For this, I'm going to grab the component and drag it to my mesh. And then it is uh, attached to the mesh, but I want to attach it to a special foot socket or foot bone. I can do this by looking on the right here under socket, parent socket. Click on here and select foot, in this case right foot. Now I just have to adjust the location and size of this capsule collision. Okay, and once you are happy with the result, you can hit compile and then uh, close third person character. And when you hit compile and the water master blueprint again, the error uh, should be gone. So now I can uh, close my water master blueprint. And um, for better visualization, I am going to click on the water master blueprint in my level and on the collision tab. You can see uh, enable feed collision is already uh, checked, but I will disable foot collision. And when I hit play, the collision of the foot should be happening, but it isn't. But that's just because uh, of me, because I uh, flipped uh, the collision of the feet and the calf uh, in the blueprint. Why by the time, but by the time you're watching this video, this will be fixed. So in this case, the calf collision is the right one. When I check this one and hit play, the collision of the feet of the foot only is happening. Okay, that's it for how to implement my uh, dynamic water into your project. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, write it in the comments below. And I really hope you liked this video. If so, leave a like and uh, consider subscribing. And uh, see you next time.